My induction into the Hall of Fame is super cool, especially as a native Atlantan. I'm sort of an endangered species around here. So doing this and doing this in my hometown makes it extra special. My dad, Steve Gorlin, is my startup spirit animal. I saw how he could make something out of nothing from a kitchen table. And in that space, he gave me the advice to don't get a job, get a deal. And that's what I did. I saw this transportation network that was just under our feet, but that nobody was taking advantage of for packages. So really, the idea came from what happens if we put all that wasted space to use to match up people who want to send things with people that are already going there anyway. There are defining milestones in any company or career, and within Rody, it was definitely during COVID. All the people that were there during those moments, they sort of have those scars that they can show of like, this is how we got through this incredibly difficult time in America and in the company, but did something that was like good for all of America, which is getting folks the stuff they need when they could not get out to get it themselves. One of the best things I've ever done was choosing to vest everyone out completely when Rody was acquired by UPS. This isn't the normal thing that you would normally do, and it changed lives. People paid off their house. They bought their first car. They created a nest egg where there wasn't one before and actually started to build net worth for the first time. It was a feeling that I got that was so awesome, and when I think about doing another startup again, the thing I actually think about is just wanting to feel that feeling again. What I believe lies ahead for the tech industry is an immense opportunity to get more voices in the room. I think it's important for those of us that have had some success in it to bring those ideas up and figure out how to get them in the room to give them the same airtime, the same funding, and the same support that all of us have had. DEI matters, but it's way more than a list of boxes to check. There's lots of other things too, like geography. If you've lived here a long time, you know that there's Atlanta and then there's Georgia. Atlanta influences everything, but it doesn't influence everywhere. We need to bring tech to smaller communities, and I'm not just talking about internet and Wi-Fi, although those things are important. We need to democratize technology where those apps and services that we have in the cities are available in our smaller communities. This is something Rody has done from the start, but everybody else does not. I'd encourage other founders to figure out how to bring your technologies and your innovations to everyone. The advice I would give to aspiring entrepreneurs is to be hard on your idea. Practice your pitch as much as you can. Practice it on friends, family, fools, the dog. And listen to the objections. Those objections are things you're going to have to overcome in all the conversations you have with investors, with customers, with new employees. But the best advice I can give is to don't let the assholes get you down. Starting a company is really hard. And there are a lot of haters out there on ideas that others have when they start. And haters are going to hate. So my best advice there is to just take in their feedback, decide what you want to keep and what you want to throw away, and move on. I'm honored to be inducted into the Georgia Technology Hall of Fame among so many friends and mentors and Georgia Tech grads. And I'm glad that they finally got a dog in their ranks. Go dogs.